Point. Yeah, the one true on one. <laughs> Remember when um Mr. Saturn's tag was void too? And then and then this boy just showed up and then like just changed his tag because he knew better. <laughs> shout out to I'm, just, I'm just kidding, Saturn. I'm just kidding. Shout I forgot you the chat. I saw you on Twitter last night complaining about the O2 Warrior skill in the moon. Hi. I saw that, but getting into game one here on Town and City. Let's see. Yeah. You know what, I will give it to chat though, uh, Diamond Dontan is correct. The San Diego Little Mac P-King has P -King? the best tag I, I would assume. Ah, oh, P-King. Good old P-King, man. There's definitely not one of those, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old right, P-King, man. Game one here though, um, Eon actually taking the lead over Void so far. Uh, he's playing like very well right now. Yeah, definitely. It just doesn't look like um, Void needs to use the room against... Um, Against the sheets a little bit, or the foxes a little bit more. But. You can definitely see the the, the the more patient fox here. The more patient playstyle seems to be working out. Yeah, definitely. But I can't really be saying that because Charlie Charlie B Boy, you know, so 3-0. Yeah, but that back row actually sent him really far away. Yeah, right? almost killed pre patch. Oh, um, that would have killed you know because cheeks cheeks um back air got nerfed quite a few patches ago. Oh man. Battle of the up airs. Both whipping. Oh, but just oh. gonna run up and hit him yeah. with the up smash. Um, I mean, Void does have a habit of jumping into them with forward air, jumping back and trying to space them with forward air. Just gonna go right under that with the up smash. Yeah. Great stuff from Eon. And now he's just trying to extend the lead as much as he can. Great reaction from the land shield. Grab him. If Void had got that up tilt on the ledge, I'm pretty sure it would have been death on the platform. Uh, but doesn't get the tech chase there. Finds the mirror sham off stage, but just gonna go right oh, through the Oh wow, he clipped him! Oh, oh my, my gosh! God, he tried for it. He <laughs> almost got out, it yeah. too, but I feel like Town and City kind of attributed it to him not finding that wow. great Jordan bouncing fish. It actually looked like it went underneath the stage. Yeah, he definitely reached down there a little bit, scooped him up with the bouncing fish. Alright. Here we go. Void. Just extending his... Like, man. Void just wins when he gets stage control, man. Oh, yeah. Um, he either gets, like, at least 20% or, or a stock, you know? Or, like... Oh, man. You're... you're when you get off stage with Void, yeah, we're gonna you to gotta see. think quick. You gotta be ready. We're gonna have to see um, Eon try to use these angles that we saw Charlie doing. Yeah. Messing up his recovery for a bit. Because we see Eon, everyone says, you know, he's known for using the side wheel a lot more yeah. than the Foxes. And Void's just gonna capitalize on that as soon as he goes off stage. And like the unsafely, side to side yeah. the interim, and Void just hit him with the up tilt up air for it. Or up tilt up air, rather. Great air dodge, gonna find it. I feel like next time we see it, Void's gonna try and call out that air dodge though. Nair sends him straight to the left. Oh, like I said, that was edge three edge. side B's in a row. Void yep. not letting it happen at all. Alright, Void taking that game one. Iano's playing so well that game as well. So, I won't be surprised if he gets this next game. Well, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, and I, both these players are a joy to watch. A pleasure. Three, two, I want to see Leon start going go. for kind of lower, weird angles. Mm -hmm. He's a little more like the top to really do. In his so. Yeah, those those angles were very like melee, melee esque, melee reminiscent. You know, yeah, I just thought of melee when I saw those angles. Like, like we see now, Void's trying to find his move here against Leon to cover. I noticed the paddle is not laying it back on to at all. Yeah. Uh, all this damage, yeah. Jesus. Dead. Oh. Nah, it's more avoid just to not overextend yeah. against Fox out there. Alright. Oh man, I love charges the needles, gets a gets a reaction and then just bouncing fish. Yeah, that's such a good little trip for the boy. Finds the, oh, he just falls Dang. into the advantage yeah. with the neutral air. 
very unfortunate. Nope. You know, it's really fried out. Looking like Floyd figured out what went wrong in his first set and adapted so quickly. You know, we did see that from Floyd last week where he got second to losers by Cedric and then Lewis and then he made it all the way back. 6 0. 6 0 to make it. Like, that's why he's a top 10 player. Yeah. Like, he's so good at adapting and figuring out what went wrong and fixing it so fast. Yeah, because he, he, they went to game 5 too. The first set last week against Zenyu. And then, um, Boy just got the data, you know, like, he was hot off, hot off the Losers Finals win and then just steamrolled. Oh, definitely. But Eon here, getting that up air, sealing out the first stock with only 67%. Been in a pretty good position here. Alright, alright, alright. Eon getting the grab. Almost gets stage control, trying to keep up the pressure, but suffers a neutral Harriet and resets. And the boy's able to get a soft reset. Yeah, now Eon should try and roll onto ledge, but boy, oh just no! After him, almost gets oh. hit with the stretcher. Oh man! Needles tries to call up oh, there with the vantage, but not going to find it. Oh no one way! Needle. One needle. One needle. Sent one tech situation. One needle. That's all it takes. Just, just one. one. Just one needle, man. That's all you need. Just yeah, one. Quick up. Dude. You know, he's like, you know, I have these needles. I don't even need them. Oh, that's something hit me. Whoops. My bad. Good that. <laughs> that was some like real ninja stuff right there, dude. Like, like hey, imagine so like cool like like, like an actual like ninja. Like, oh, this is my last needle. I gotta make it count. Sadly. Dead. <laughs> right. Excuse me. And now, Eon in a really tough position here. You know, I really, I want to point out that when Eon ever illusions on stage, Void doesn't shield it always. He, he'll do an up tilt and then just clank, and then he'll be able to, like, get out of the shield stun. Yeah, and then he'll just clank with the move with the uh, illusion and then just go punish Eon wave. I love it. Very good awareness from Void. When you see things like that, you really you can really see a player's knowledge of the game. Oh my goodness. Oh, but that was so clean. Gets the filter up to up in combo. And evens up the percentages just like that. Alright. Pretty even game here. Tries to get fastball and to up smash with Void Good. DI away from it. Just barely missing. And that actually could have been death, but missing the tech chase there. Yeah. He's expecting him to go the other way. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! Misses the tech and gets caught with an F smash at the ledge. Beautiful conversion from Void. I love that. He the platforms are going away. He bouncing fish off stage onto the ledge, got his jump back, and then came back to the stage. But Again, Eon, just man, call him out with up smash. He's so good at that. He just gets. He reads a jump or it just calls out when when Void's gonna dash in. With a fox shot and you just gets him. Didn't work. That could have been a good thirty percent at least for Void, yeah. All right, on, on Neon, I mean. Yeah. So very risky, but definitely worth it. Oh, here and we go. Void said, combos. Here comes the Void combo. Juicy damage. Edge guards. Jeez, Blanks Louise. Up, using Sheik's frame data every time. Exploitation at its finest. Void really just exploit Sheik's frame data, man. Hey, I mean, if you play a top tier character, there's a good reason why. Yeah, right? I mean, why wouldn't you exploit a character's weak uh, advantages, you know? Pikachu, I'm, I'm the timeout guy, dude. I play core. Well, all I do is exploit my character. Right? <laughs> just <laughs> side B, man, the pin. Exactly. Oh, oh great. Here we go. Late now actually almost combos into the up air. Tries to go for jab, jab, up tilt that. Could have been a kill confirmed there. Alright, let's see if Eon can get something cooking here. Stage control. Void Just coming off. back the... in him with the yeah. forward air. Gets him off of the ledge. Oh, he almost oh, gets that tech. Great perfect scary. down tilt, though. Right, stage control here. On the bad spot. Oh, wow. Oh, barely Magnet makes it back. Hands. Magnet hands for real. Oh, but we got wow. by the down smash. Eon's gonna find the first game. Oh, All right.
right. Leon getting again, getting one on the board. Here we go. He is taking a brief deep breath. Composing himself. Tries to get in the next one. Uh. All right, and we're going to Lilat. Actually, very surprising pick. All right, Void. This is Void's counter pick. Void knowing that Fox has a hard time getting back onto this space specifically, because due to the tilts, he, he either goes Fox either goes over the ledge and illusions on stage, or goes under it and gets pineapple or like has to fire Fox up. So, but then again, Fox has a, a really easy time just applying pressure on these platforms, just sharking with up airs, back airs, uh, neutral airs even. See, this this stage isn't too bad for Fox as well. Um, but then the, the recovery, you know, very, very hard. Not good. Nope, this is really good. I know um, a lot of Foxes don't like this stage. Leon is going to be the one that does, though. It's not looking good for him, however. I feel like that tilt actually messed up Void's timing on the bouncing fish, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lila is Lila. It messes everyone up. Yeah, but Great spacing on that bouncing fish. Is. It's actually kind of helping me on recovery against Shukia to have these kills. It's a little bit harder to punish the low recovery on this thing. Yeah. It's actually really surprising, really. Just because Eon has to be a little more careful doesn't necessarily mean that his recovery is weak on here. I love how Void's using um, up air through the ledge here. The hitbox goes through the ledge. Oh, it's this nice counter pressure. so clean. Just kind of jumps away, gets him with the tomahawk grab. Pineapple? Yeah. Oh, no. Very unfortunate. And, you know what? I said it doesn't affect the recovery that much, but it's gonna find the kill there. Yeah. It's gonna just go right under the ledge, unfortunately. That's Lilan, man. Alright, I like the perfect pivot, creating space for himself. Just getting all this damage and. Void just has so much presence off stage. Yeah, it's this is what every Sheik player, every player just ha needs to have presence off stage, really. Not just Sheik players, just every player. And you gotta have yeah, some type of presence off stage. That's really what I want to see more from like other players too. Is abuse people for coming back to like, mm -hmm. like in melee. You go out stage once and you die. Yeah. Like, I know this game's ledge is a little different, and you don't just die if someone's throwing the ledge. But like you can still abuse people's recovery yeah. off stage. A lot of kids just have very abusive recoveries. But again, you know, calling out that jump gets him with the run up up smash. All of all of his kills against Void have been up smashes except for that one down smash at the ledge. Oh baby. Let's see if Eon can pull this can pull a hat trick out of the bag. He's got the home field advantage, let's not forget. I would love for him to win this game and do that super cool taunt. See, he's getting that damage slowly but surely. Has to play really safe. Neutral's very important here. So he got hit once. Luckily, he's able to win the win the trade and get stage control. There we go. Sharking Void on the platforms. But Void able to successfully avoid the pressure and get back on stage. And he has Void up. Void is off stage now. You are not going to really punish him. Laying him back on stage with three with that nail on his shield. Oh, oh man, that there almost killing. Great Back shine stalls. Again, like I said, Eon kind of recovered to ledge every time with that side. Yeah, I'd really like to see him start mixing up just a little yeah. bit more, using his up some more. 